this chicken stew is simply amazing and so flavorful i used only six tomatoes and i'm gonna show you how to make it i'm gonna be chopping our garlic and onions and a bit of ginger so these for me are always like my crucial crucial basic ingredients to use for any sauce especially when it comes to Ghana stews you can't go wrong with your red onions and your ginger always have that on hand like trust me your stews will just come out beautiful you know what carrots adds to a great stew texture and crunch yeah so for your tomatoes you can roughly chop them up you know dice them or squeeze them all together into the blender i mean after all hey you are just pureeing them right so any style that you want to cut them up go ahead and so what i'm doing is going to puree mine with my chili pepper so i use only three green chilies because i don't want my stew to be too spicy to overwhelm the dish you know i want to taste all the flavors in there chicken thigh is the best part of the chicken to use for your chicken stew because it's more juicy it's more flavorful the bones carry all the goodness in there so you want to make sure that you know you're using the chicken thigh always identify the joints you know to be able to cut through easily and mash it just chop up those bones you know one full thigh will give you all these um pieces that's like about six pieces also roughly about six pieces then i cut up the drumstick as well you know i don't like my meat being chunky in the in the stews you know so easy does it and then we have our red onions that we're gonna saute here is a trick that i would love to show you you want to make your oil very aromatic by blending your spices and adding it to the oil and the onions that way the oil becomes really flavorful that is an amazing amazing trick when you want your stew to be really really flavorful so let it cook slowly with the onions before you add the chicken and you want to make sure you are adding the chicken skin side down which is gonna get all the juices into the oil everything is slowly cooking together melting together having a good time in there so you're gonna flip it after, after about five minutes on each side making sure that there is no bloody spots in there that's what you're looking for no bloody spots it's well it's well cooked but it's not deeply fried you know it's lightly fried with no signs of blood in any of the pieces so you're gonna take that out so you take that out into a separate container and keep it on to the side lovely next we add our puree tomatoes and we're gonna add a little bit of water like almost like a quarter cup of water with very little to cook our tomatoes and then tomato paste to thicken up the tomatoes to add more color more vibrancy and more taste i love salsa tin tomatoes so give it a good stir add a little bit more water to help with the tomato paste and then you cover and allow to simmer over medium heat oh yeah that looks so good so you can see the tomato has a darker shade of red that tells you that it's almost ready so just before it's finally ready we add in our tomatoes and coat the chicken pieces with all the beautiful red tomato making sure that you know the juices are gonna go into the sauce everybody's gonna be happy together mm. yeah i'm sure you can smell that oh yeah and your chopped carrots and extra onions extra onions really important at this stage never forget to add your veggies to your stews very important eat your veggies guys so i'm adding a little bit of salt because i already added some salt to the spices earlier when i blended them together so yeah just a little bit and you're good to go
honestly guys this stew this is a sort of stew that you are cooking and your neighbor will be like mm, why not yet i don't know now who are near jame me now who they'll come and do sabi and see like yeah charlie what's up hey charlie i see you chill like hey, charlie let me try the rice charlie, the stew the bio. you know yeah that's the kind of vibe you're gonna be getting from your friends and your neighbors so <laughs> So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe, but this was so good. I really enjoyed making it. Yeah, the chicken was just tender. It was moist. It was oh, so good. Oh yeah, trust me. It was that good. And I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, to like this and to share it wherever you find this recipe and i'd love to hear from you any comments any questions you may have i'll be glad to respond to all of them have a wonderful week and stay safe guys covid is still real bye